everybody. Today we got ourselves some German muscle. It's a 2002 Mercedes CLK 55 AMG. Uh, this is not your regular <laughs> CLK 55 AMG. Uh, I'll get to that later. Uh, forgot those V8 compressor badges for now. Let's have a look of the car itself. W28 seal case were produced from 1997 to 2003 in various forms and variations. Uh, many of you think that uh, seal case are two door E classes. But in fact, although they look like the two-door E-classes, uh, they are all based on C-classes. So at that time, uh, late 90s to early 2000s, CLK uh, was based on a W202 chassis of that year's Mercedes C-class. But, as you can see, it definitely has the styling cues of the Mercedes W210 of that age. So Mercedes went from their regular uh, square shaped uh, design, like the W140 uh, C-Class, W124, the E-Class of that age, and the square headlights was their new theme and uh, later on they stuck with this design for some time even the later CLKs uh, and next E-classes uh, carried this uh, this design this one is modified <laughs> with uh, body kits and different hood G wheels, avant garde. Mercedes actually came back to that recently. Uh, let's open it up. Oh, you can feel the old school Mercedes doors, they're quite heavy. Built sturdy, you can see chrome inserts. That's what Mercedes used to do to their high end models. In terms of design, I mean it's typical late 90s, er, it's typical 90s Mercedes. We got some leather, some leather stitching. We got side airbags, and let's remember this was 90s. I uh, got your regular wood. Uh, we got three-way adjustable um, seats with memory package. You can save up to three. Uh, seat uh, configurations in this case and this is this is 90s for you got some Mercedes V8 inserts on your doorstep just to remind you that you got a V8 not the regular one and this is your interior The seats are a bit bolstered and over here you can control your lumbar supports with these buttons. I'm not gonna concentrate a lot on the... don't look at this gauge. <laughs> the party piece of this car I'm gonna review later on. Right now, let's just focus on what a regular W208 would look like. Got some stitching, AMG engraved logo on the steering wheel. That's those cool gray dials, again with AMG. 
Got your typical switches. This is an era when Mercedes used to really build very high quality cars. And I mean, this car is 2002. And everything is relatively held up very, very well. Some AMG doormats, avant-garde on the shift knob. This is a four-seater coupe. Got some AMG wheels. This is your trunk, which is quite spacious. Triangle over there. Now again, the W28 was built for someone who didn't just want a regular C-Class, which is the car based on, or the E-Class, which it resembles in a two-door shape, but they wanted something more special. And the way this car aged is, it's definitely up to your own taste. Got your interesting Mercedes logo. Affalter Bunch AMG and single wiper blade which uh, except some high-end supercars I don't think anybody does it so the first generation COK had various variations from a clumsy COK 200 a four cylinder coupe and even convertible producing something around 134 horsepower to a full on mid engine Le Mans racer uh, with a V12 engine racing up against the best in Le Mans races. And this is the car that uh, Mark Weber. Uh, flew in in 99 Le Mans. Uh, those cars, uh, the homologated versions of the CLK GTR, are today they cost about five million dollars if if you can find one. So uh, the CLK had a lot of variations, but in year 2000 they came up with this CLK 55 AMG. The regular CLK55 AMG had the bulletproof, naturally aspirated uh, 5.4 liter V8, producing something around 342 horsepower. But this car, <laughs> this machine, is quite different. And from the title, you can already tell that this is not naturally aspirated, nor it's stock. <laughs> uh, we'll get to the engine right now, where I can show you uh, all that has been done to this car. Well, let's just take a look at the profile of the car and what has been done. We got some on the outside. So we have this aggressive front bumper. We got this interesting hood that's actually functional. It does let the heat out. Some modern AMG stripes your period correct AMG wheels and the rear bumper. Uh, this regular CLK55 has a one-sided exhaust but with two tips. This one has a single exhaust and as we can see the <laughs> it's a bit burnt right there. 
on the bumper as well as we got the V8 compressor patches nevertheless when you look at this car you just cannot believe what it has or what it can do and this is the party piece of this car this is a very very discreet sleeper and the heart of this Frankenstein is not your stock M113 this is a supercharged five and a half liter engine V8 that has a supercharger from an SLR Mercedes as well as different pistons cranks camshaft has water methanol injection your air intakes different throttle body supercharger pulleys this car produces around 800 horsepower 700 to the wheels This mundane looking CLK, I mean the body is just a CLK, but the heart, the heart is from a supercar. SLR McLaren was a 200 mile an hour supercar that competed with uh, Porsche Carrera GT, uh, McLaren F1, Ferrari Enzo those cars of that age and when you put it into your regular CLK it's quite quite an interesting car it's a, it's a true super sleeper and the performance of this car is something else because think about it um, SLR produces somewhere around 600 horsepower with its engine while weighing around 1.8 uh, tons 1,800 kilograms this car also weighs around 1,800 kilograms but it, um, it produces more power than the actual SLR so in addition to the engine it also has a transmission from a newer CLK DTM as well as the rear differential it also has been beefed up to hold somewhere around 1200 horsepower Now, the beauty of this car, the fact that it's a true, true slipper done in a German fashion. Usually, if you want to build a high horsepower car, you turn to either Japanese with their 2JZ or you turn to Americans with their Fords or mostly LS engines but the owner of this car took a different approach he got he did it the German way and in my opinion this is this is really cool you don't see it this often And what a joy is it to just humiliate other sport cars and you know and something that you build yourself. There is no point of launching this car because I'm sure that it's probably gonna 
spin its wheels on first two gears but on the roll racing or from 100 kilometers and above this car can take on any Hellcat any Camaro, Corvette, those muscle cars as well as the proper supercars like the McLaren because as I said again you know we have the same weight as a SLR McLaren 1800 kilograms but we got 800 horsepower 800 again you know you can have a supercharged LS and whatnot but the truth is that 5.5 AMG really rules it's an amazing durable engine that can hold up a lot of horsepower and being a Mercedes you know it's like a Lego you can put it in any car you want the engine the transmission you can create your own Frankenstein and not a lot of people have the courage to do such a car because this is technically I mean the regular CLK doesn't have any value to it the 55 MG yes it's sort of a good-looking car I mean it's fun to have but I mean if you're looking for value for money this car maximum I believe it's gonna cost you around 40,000 to 50,000 dollars to build as it is today this way and you can humiliate cars that are 10 times the price and at the same time nobody will see you coming nobody's gonna expect that this Mercedes is gonna do that because a lot of times you know we see uh, even CLK 200 with the big body kit uh, you know acting as if it's a fast car and that's what people are usually used to but what we got here is the opposite it looks like a regular car yeah of course there is the badges there is the bumpers and whatnot but <laughs> seriously nobody's gonna see you coming and honestly god bless 5.5 amg 5.5 rules guys it truly does